everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the course syllabus and um, really fast. When you click on this button, I've embedded our course syllabus and the course schedule. So you can click here or you can click here to bring it up. I've already got a copy of it for you. The best way to contact me is via email since this is, a, this is an online course. I do have office hours this fall in Nampa uh, from 8.30 until 10, and then I teach at 10 o'clock. So if you wanted to um, touch base with me in Nampa or at the Ada campus, I'm in 8 10, 12, 18. This course is going to cover the Microsoft Office applications. We are going to go through all of them. Word, Excel, Outlook, Access, and PowerPoint. This is a 16-week fully online course. Our last day will be December 13th. I'm going to give you a separate video for the assignments and the course schedule. Um, please make sure that you use Google Chrome when you are doing your homework for this course and that you have um, 2016, Office 2016. By the way, you can download, I put that in the announcements, a free um, free uh, download for Office 365. I also put information like that in the um, syllabus here, and I'll get to that in one second. You are actually expected to have a basic understanding of your computer. I'm not here to teach you how to use your computer, only to teach you how to use the Microsoft Office programs. I'm going to skip through our objectives. Um, I'm going to go through those, um, actually not skip through, but go through those relatively quickly. Here's what you're going to be learning for Word. Um, when you're all done and you take that Microsoft Office exam, here's what you're going to be able to do. And the same thing with Excel, and there's a lot there. And then we're going to go through PowerPoint. Uh, you will not be studying for that certification. And then access, as I said before, we're going to be covering that. And then you are going to be creating a website. This is a fun project at the very last week, week 16, that you're all going to be doing. We don't necessarily have a book. However, for those that want to purchase, back in the course announcements, I did give you that information. Um, so that's here. It's optional. If there is a fee for that, it's $35, and it's not an actual book, it's a loose leaf um, text, so you have to get like a three ring binder. I'm kind of old school, so I do like to have my hard copy, but everything's online that you're going to be doing. And so um, you will be using what is referred to as MyLab IT, and there is another video about that in our um, course. Uh, so that's a different video. All right, moving right along. Make sure that you're using the web browser, Google Chrome. The other one you could possibly use if you had to would be Firefox. Stay away from the Internet Explorer. Do not use that. Uh, we will be using Gmetrix and Microsoft Windows. 10 is best, but 7 or 8 will get you there. That's fine. Mac users, you can't use your Mac in this class. You might be able to use it for the first few assignments, but when we get to access, it doesn't exist. Um, in fact, I wouldn't even use it at all. We do have labs on all of our campuses, so Canyon, Nampa, and Ada. Um, you might have to do that. So just keep that in mind. So um, going back to the Microsoft Office Suites, if you need that 2016, here is the link for that. It is free for students to download. My own kids have done that and it works perfectly fine. So uh, you can do that if you need to get um, Office 2016. Um, when you're sitting at one of our labs and campuses, uh, it's already on there, so please don't download that on our campus computers. To pass this class, you have to pass Word and Excel Microsoft Office Specialist exams with 700 or better. Each test is worth a thousand points and you need 700 or better, which is actually a 70%. You will also need to score a 70% or better on Access and PowerPoint uh, final. Now you're not sitting for those exams, 
those will be something completely different and I'll explain those later um, in a different video for you. Here's how I've got the grade um, breakdown for you. Your test in this course will be 50% of the grade. And then we have um, projects. So you're going to be writing a paper. And when you get done with that paper, you're actually going to be doing a PowerPoint presentation with a voiceover. Um, and then your website that you're going to create. So that's all of this here, 20%. And then 30% uh, will be of your homework. By the way, um, there's a lot of homework in this course, so please be mindful and be a good manager of your time when it comes to your homework. Method of delivery, this is a fully online class, so um, everything is all computer-based, including email. Uh, we'll be using that a lot, uh, so, um, and Blackboard, that's the other thing we'll be using. My office hours are listed here again. Best way to get a hold of me is email. However, if it is a question about homework, please use Ask Dr. Burns a question tab, which is an actual discussion board located in our course shelf. And I've set up a, um, a link here. By the way, I'm in uh, faculty mode, teacher mode. That's why it looks this way. I take it to student mode. Um, and so here is what it looks like in student mode. So ask me a question and you just go right in there and you create a thread. That's all you have to do. If it's something personal you want, you don't want anyone else to see, maybe um, you're late on an assignment because um, you're sick, email me. But if it's something related to the course, homework, use Ask Dr. Barnes a question tab. Three reasons why. One, someone else has that same question. I don't want to have to repeat myself four different times for the same question to four different people. Number two, it's another form of learning. We're helping each other out, and I might not be around, and so you can answer each other faster than I could. And number three, it's also a red flag for me that maybe I didn't explain something well enough, so I need to change as a faculty member and improve on that. Or maybe there's an issue with my lab IT, and I need to alert the company. Speaking of feedback, um, you can expect for me to give you feedback within 24 to 48 hours. If it's the weekend, it's probably not gonna happen right away. So I usually say business days, I'm, I'm really quick. Uh, and I'm not on in the evening, it's rare. Um, so be mindful of that. I do have a life outside of CWI. Um, discussion boards, I've set up several. We'll walk you through that in a different uh, video. Email is my preferred way of contacting me for something personal only, okay? Uh, again, I go back to Ask Dr. Barn a question forum for discussion board if you have a question about your homework. Late assignments, I don't accept them, so please keep um, up on your homework. Um, I like to have all of my uh, weekly modules open, so that way if you want to work ahead, you can do that. However, I'm not heartless. If something has happened, uh, which life does happen, get a hold of me. Don't wait. Get a hold of me, and I'm willing to work with you. I don't want you to have to repeat my class. Um, I do do social networking, but um, CWI, CWI now has a policy that we're not allowed to be like Facebook friends or Instagram friends with each other. Um, so we can do LinkedIn together if you would like to. Uh, be mindful of how we treat each other with respect in this course because it's fully online. You don't have that visual of body language. So just be mindful of that. You can expect to spend a lot of time in this course. The average, they say, is three to four credit hours, or three to four hours per week per credit hour. So nine to 12 hours just for one course. That's probably the case for this one. Um, but that's why I've opened up all of your homework this semester, so you could jump ahead if you wanted to. Late assignments, I don't do them, but if you speak with me, we need to make them up. Um, I'm willing to do that, um, but that doesn't happen very often. Again, we're going through all of Microsoft Office programs. Record keeping. Hey, I grade really, really quick. This is a 16-week course. Please don't ask me about something that happened in week two and we're in week 15 and you're worried about your grade. After two weeks, consider it correct and permanent. If you see something that's wonky, you need to talk to me quickly. 
um, behavior. It's an online course, uh, so just be mindful of how we treat each other in an online environment. Please don't cheat in my course. I do document that, and I will tag you for that. Plus, it doesn't do you any good anyway, and the reason why is because um, you have to pass this course by passing Word and Excel and then getting a 70% or better on the other two. So you need to do your own homework. I will be taking attendance. Um, how I do that, the first couple of weeks is you complete your homework. There's a wait list for my courses generally, so when you don't complete homework in the first week or two, I drop you. So make sure you get your homework done uh, by the specified due dates. All right, everyone. If you have any questions, you know where to go, and that's in Blackboard, and ask Dr. Barnes a question uh, week for any questions on this course syllabus. You're now ready to take that syllabus quiz. Good luck.